Today, in this place, the forces of Uthwe will stand off and defend this world against the Star Hunters Space Marine chapter. The Star Hunters, ever roaming the galaxy, searching for the relics of lost worlds, have come to this place seeking treasure, seeking secrets, seeking the enemies of the Emperor of Man. But this place is a special place, for this place used to belong to the Eldar, particularly to Eldrad himself, who is not going to accept what he would call the plunder of this world. This will be the first game of a campaign between Uthwe and the Star Hunter Space Marine chapter. The force of the Space Marines start with Captain Orbiton. as an iron halo, master crafted lightning claws. He is the Emperor's sword. And there's two attack marine squads, uh, one with a combi plasma and a grav gun, and the other one has a LAS cannon. This is Eldrad with the Uthwe Claraf world, and the Farseer is going to explain what's on his list now. Uh, I took Eldrad. He is the warlord. He knows Smite because everybody knows Smite. And then he know I today I took Doom, Executioner, and Mind War. Uh, I have a unit of Dire Avengers, four Dire Avengers, one Exarch. His Exarch power is Bladestorm, and he will be carrying one Avenger Shuriken Catapult, and then five Rangers. Now this is the beginning of a slow girl campaign. These armies will grow a game at a time, and characters will be leveled up and upgraded. Uh, this campaign is completely plagiarized from a couple different campaigns I watched on DeploymentZone.tv, which is totally worth the money. Uh, we'll begin in a second. So, through a series of completely random dice rolls, we have found ourselves in the 8th edition rulebook, although the game will be 9th edition rules. But the 8th edition rulebook in the open war section, we will be playing Ambush, which we think is a good way to start our campaign. It has some unique stratagems and some kind of self-explanatory rules that we'll get into as we play the game. So we've set up now. It's day one, and day one after the Space Rangers have arrived on this world, Captain Orvington has taken a small crew of men to scout out the lay of the land, to get a hold eyes on the new environment. But Eldrad, he knew he would be here a thousand years ago. He figured out he would be here. And Eldrad very cleverly placed his men between the captain and his escape route. Can the Space Marines get off that side of the table, past those Dire Avengers and those Rangers? And we rolled up the ambush scenario. Seriously, it was random. This is from 8th edition. It has its own stratagems. And before the game starts, I'm gonna spend one command point on the tables turned. And it gives me a chance to seize the initiative on a one, or on a six, I should say. So that's where we'll start, on a six. It's a three, I'm a command point lighter, but due to the mission rules, the Eldar will take the first turn. At the end of Eldar movement, Mr. Eldrad has decided to get closer to the captain with the lightning claws. The Dire Avengers have moved forward to get all their shots. The Rangers have stayed on the back line. My men on the bridge, kinda dead to rights. I don't think I'm getting the barricade rules with that straight on firing. Captain Orvington will be in striking range on his turn. Starting with Eldred's second phase. What are you starting with, Eldred? Uh, Eldred is going to doom the guys on the bridge on a seven. I cannot deny anything. Goes off. There's a doom on the guys on the bridge. And then he is going to cast Executioner on the guys on the bridge. Executioner on the guys on the bridge. On a seven. On a seven. Plus one because of his ghost home. Ghost Helm. Uh, it goes off. Goes on off on an eight. So Four. my men are doomed. D3 mortal wounds. D3 mortal wounds on the executioner. One. One mortal wound. Now, my chapter traits Master Crafted and Warded. Ward gives me a five up shrug on mortal wounds. And I make it. Uh, it does nothing then. So Eldred is going to smite the guys on the bridge. Men on the bridge getting smitted by Eldred. Well, he'll smite the closest unit. 
and that will go off on plus two. Plus two. It is actually the Spirit Link special rule that's doing that. Ah. Well, that is eight, nine, ten. That is ten. Ten. So, D3 mortal wounds. D3 mortal wounds. I can deny nothing. For three mortal wounds, that's bad news. Three mortal wounds. Get on the it. guys on the bridge. Three mortal wounds. I need fives and sixes for my shrugs. I shrug one. I shrug two. I take a wound. Take a wound. And that's going to be an annoyed... Farseer. We'll be back in a second in the shooting. Coming into Eldar's shooting phase. This man on the bridge has taken a wound. This whole squad is doomed. And we're starting on the Dire Avengers. Uh, we're going to start with the Rangers. Pardon me. We're going to start with the Rangers. The Rangers are going to shoot. I'm going to spend one command point for uh -oh. my attacker stratagem. Uh, Which is? It's going to let me shoot at my regular... Uh, Oh, because I totally forgot to mention to the battle report that we're night fighting for turn one, eighth edition. There's a command, um, the stratagems over there. Oh, you can gotcha. Zoom in on the um, one that I'm using. I think it's the one in the middle. Yes, this is select one of your units, shoot without penalties in the dawn raid, and this is indeed the dawn raid. So we're gonna have my rangers here shoot at the squad on the bridge. Oh, they're, they're gonna, gonna whiff. They're gonna hit on threes. And they missed you. I see three hits though. Um, toughness four. We're gonna wound on fours. We're gonna wound on sixes. Fours. We'll do mortal wounds. So there's, and we're gonna re-roll our two wounds because of Eldrad's doom spell. And there's two wounds and a mortal wound on the space marines on the bridge. Two wounds and a mortal wound. Here are the two wounds. They need threes. We're fine. The mortal wound needs a five. Still fine. Still fine. Oh, Eldar, I'm coming for you. All right, Shirken next pistol. All right, here comes the Shirkin pistol and the Dire. At the it. end of the Eldar turn, Eldrad killed the one Space Marine who um, already had a wound. The Dire Avengers killed the next Space Marine. There are no charges because everybody is too far away. There is no morale because only two Marines have died. And there's a sergeant in that squad. Heading on to Space Marines turn. The Space Marines have moved way forward. And uh, at the beginning, in my command phase, Eldrad used his Warlord trait, which is called what? The Fate Reader. Eldrad, being the Fate Reader, gained himself a command point. These men moved into the river. The river is difficult, minus two. It's dangerous if you advance your charge, but we didn't today. I'm going to spread a command point on them so they can fire and stay still. i got to check and make sure the heavy weapons guy gets that, too. Orvington got up behind these troops. They're gonna they're gonna eat the second might for him. I'm sorry, but they're gonna have to. But then on his next turn, he's gonna get in and he's gonna cut up everybody. And then we're gonna go into my shooting phase. Just into my shooting phase. Captain Orvington, no guns. This squad here has a combi plaz, grav gun, bolter. We gotta check to see if I'm in rapid fire. So the grav gun is slightly out. The white dice are the bolt gun. The black dice are the plasma gun. The cream dice is the grab. Let's go. I'm hitting on fours because of night fight. I've hit you a bunch of the times by Space Marines. And because of Master Artisans, I'll reroll that one. That misses anyway. Wounds on a three. Wounds on a four. No, wait. These both wound on threes. This one moves. They all wound on threes. The black dice wound on twos. That's what I mean to say. Everything wounds. This is minus one, this is minus, no wait. This is nothing, minus three, minus three. Spit that out, on the Dire Avengers, yes. It's a good battle report, I promise. This is nothing, which will be a four up. Yes, take a wound. This, these are all minus, minus three. three. The cream dice, what's your armor save, it's four? It's a four. It's just one damage on all everything. Right. So these are all gonna be sixes. For my feel no pain. Feel no pain for Uthwe. And I do not make any of them. We have killed some elves that rocks. Moving on to this unit this shooting. squad in the water, hitting on fours because of knife fighting. Shooting at Eldrad. I get this many hits. And I get this many wounds. Eldrad makes all of his saves. Uh, not going to make a charge because these men have to be here to protect Captain Orvington from psychic might. But this man here, that man has a morale check to make. 
That man has failed his morale. We are beginning Eldar turn two. Command phase is the is the path of fate. I get a command point, and then I do not generate a second command point. Well, let's get you that command point. And now we go into Eldar. At the end of Eldar movement phase, Eldrad has come down from the building, and the snipers have stayed right where they are. We're going to start Eldrad's psychic phase. What you doing, Eldrad? Uh, Eldred is going to cast Executioner on the Space Marine squad in front of him. Uh-oh. On a seven. It goes off. Oh, it doesn't go off. Uh, but he's Eldred. He gets plus one, right? But um, Eldred, no, that's only after he successfully manifests the power. Uh-oh. Eldred has to successfully manifest the power. However, I'm going to use his Runes of the Farseer ability. Once in each psychic phase, you can reroll any number of dice used for this model's attempt to manifest or deny a psychic power. Eldred. And he successfully casts Executioner, which does D3 mortal wounds. Oh, no! One mortal wound. One mortal wound. I'll spend the command point to reroll a dice. Three mortal Three wounds. Three mortal wounds. That was a good roll. But my men are awarded as a chapter tactic. Fives and sixes. Oh, it kills a man. And because it kills a man, Executioner does an additional D3 oh, mortal no. wounds. For an additional two mortal wounds. All right, we can save that, though, can't we? Uh, we got one. So, that's a man. And then it's a wound on the grav gun. And now we're going to go into Eldar shooting phase, which is one pistol and five. I'm right. sorry. I was so wrong. There's way more psychic there's, power there's, That was the first psychic the power. The first power. Come on. Let's go second power. What All is right. it? Second power, we're going to cast Doom on uh, the squad of tech marines standing in front of Buffalo Doom. Rington. On a seven, goes off on a nine because Eldred is plus one. I have no denies on the table. So they are doomed. Doomed. And the third power? The third power, Eldred is going to cast Mind War against Buff Orvington. Oh no, Captain Orvington. On a seven, this roll is going to be plus two because of Eldred's spirit link. You're going to peril. You're not going to make it. Oh, plus two is going to do it. It's going to go off on a seven. So, if manifested, choose an enemy character, Buff Orvington. Each player rolls a d6 and adds the model's leadership characteristic to their result. If the opponent scores higher or the scores are drawn, nothing happens. If I score hard, higher, you take the difference in mortal wounds. Captain Orvington's leadership is, I believe, a 9. Eldred's leadership is a 9. It is a 9. So we're going to have a good old-fashioned d6 rolling contest. Here. I'm going to win. Ready? Oh, my dice is super cocked, though. I got a 6. I got a 6. Ah, boo. So nothing happens. Captain Orvington is rock solid. He is not succumb to Eldred's mental interrogation. Well, we will come back after the six shot shooting at phase. At the end of the shooting phase, the snipers at the edge of the board had a wonderful round of shooting and killed both of my, or all three of my attack marines, whoever was left there. But that is going to be the end of the Eldred turn unless, oh, Eldred wants to charge. I looked up at the Farseer and the Farseer looked at me like I was crazy. It's going to be an 8-inch charge. 8-inch charge. Can you do it, Eldred? I don't think Eldred's got it in him. Oh, have faith. He wants to get in. He is in. He's he in wants it. Hands. So here we are. We got Eldred, champion of Uthway, the coolest guy in the story, versus Captain Orvington. Eldred gets the first swing. How many attacks do you have, Eldred? Eldred's got two attacks. They're going to hit you on twos. On twos. I got two fives. Two hits. Eldred's wounded twice. He wounds, or hit twice. He wounds on threes. Strength five, toughness. Four. Wounded on threes. And I'm going to spend a command point to re-roll that one right there. Going to re-roll that one right there. And I get a one again. One wound. What is the AP on the weapon? On the Staff of Ulthamar, it is AP minus two for D3. It'll be my Iron Halo save of four up. Oh, I take it. I take the D3. For D3. One. For one wound. Going to mark that wound and come back with Orvington. So the captain starts with four attacks. Gets two for having lightning claws. Gets one for being charged. Gets one for being the Emperor's sword. He is a captain, so he's going to hit on twos. And that is a nice amount of hits. He hits all of the times. At strength five, because of the Emperor's sword, he wounds on threes. And because he has lightning claws, he rerolls his wounds. So, he has seven wounds to make, at two, saves to make at two damage each for being master crafted. He needs to make seven, three of invulnerable saves. Otherwise, he is not going to survive the game. How many damage each? Two damage each. All right, here we go. These are three up invulns. I, I failed one. one. That's it. Yeah. 
That was I red. spend that command point though. Oh, he might not even take two. He still he takes two, so I'm gonna use my six up, feel no pain. And I don't get either of those. Eldred oh, yeah, takes two down. wounds. However, going into the Space Marine turn, he will get to fight first because he will be stuck. He is down. moving around very quickly, being there's three units per side. This squad of tactical Marines is going to spend the command point I just earned for my command phase to play steady advance and fire as if they stood still against these Rangers. Captain Orvington will stay put with Eldrad and they will finish their combat, but Eldrad will fight uh, first. Space Marines firing as if they stood still. The cream dice is a laser cannon, looking for threes because it's no longer nighttime. I've hit all the times, and now I'm going to wound on threes because they are toughness elf. I have wounded all of the times. The elves, I am now in the tactical phase. Uh, that is minus one for the elves. Lots of saves for the elves. Oh wait, you know what I didn't do? The laser cannon's minus three. Yeah. Can I get an off-color deck? Yeah, you can use the one I rolled. That just, uh, this is a six. Yeah, you, you got them all. <laughs> so, going into this, this long-run campaign, we both knew that game one was going to be a little bit one-sided. This is no surprise to anyone, but Eldred gets the first swing here. Uh, Eldred is going to swing twice with his Staff of Ultimar. Hits he you hits two both times. of the times. Strike five, toughness four, is going to be threes. Wounds you two times, Wounds minus two. two for D3. I'm looking for Iron Halo saves. I make both of my saves. Now, there's four for being a captain. I did not get charged this turn, but there's two for Lightning Claws and one for being... No, the Imperium Sword is on the charge as well. So there are six attacks now. That'll be at strength four, not five. I need twos, because I'm a captain. I can reroll one of those because of Master Artisans, but it's still a miss. I've hit five times, though. Now I wound on fours, because I'm not charging. I've wounded twice, but I can reroll the wound for having Lightning Claws. Four wounds on Eldrad, minus two, two damage each. Eldrad's gonna take his three up in wall and save. Uh, I'm gonna spend a command point to oh, reroll one of those. And then I have to make two six up feel no pains. And Eldred lives on two wounds. Eldred lives on two wounds to hopefully have a psychic might of a phase here. Then we'll find out about that. And uh, Eldar turn three. Uh, being a narrative game, Eldred's command farm is doing him well. How many command points you got now? Two. You got two. You've spent a bunch. I've spent a bunch. And what's the name of the command farm? Uh, Uthway the Fate Reader. It Uthway the Fate Reader. Warlord trait. We already talked about that once. I think so. All right. So it's your psychic phase. What are you doing, Eldred? Uh, kill the captain? Eldred's hopefully going to kill a captain here. He's going to start uh, with Smite. And he's going to smite the closest model. It goes off on a six. For the captain is the closest model. What do you get? D3. Two more to wounds. When I save those, I shrug those on fives and sixes. Oh, down to two wounds. Uh, I'm then going to cast Mind War on a seven. That goes, goes off, off on a ten. We're going to go a D6 roll off, and you'll take the difference. And I'm going to win. Wins. I roll a six. I roll a six. We draw on the Mind War again. That's a lot of sixes for Mind War. There's an iron wheel going on on this table right now. And what else is happening now? Now Eldred is going to cast Executioner. On the captain. Off Warrington. On a seven. This is going to be plus two because he's successfully manifested two powers. And it goes off on an eight. And then that's going to be D3 mortal wounds for three mortal wounds. Uh-oh, buff Orvington. This could be the end of the captain. I have two command points. Let's see how we do. I need fives and sixes. I get one. So, I will spend a command point on a five or six, Captain Orvington lives. And Captain Orvington has rolled a one. He has failed. He does not survive. Eldred, uh, Eldred is now free to shoot and charge. You shooting at the squad? Eldred's going to shoot at that squad of attack marines. He's going to hit you on a two. He hits. He'll wound you on a four. He does not wound. He does not wound. Is Eldred going to charge? Eldred is going to charge into those tack reads. Overwatch! Like, I was going to say, would you like to overwatch? All right, the black dice is the Laz cannon. I want sixes. Uh, I can reroll one of these. 
damage. And so I get one hit and all that. Eldrad, one hit. And wound you on a four. One wound, Eldrad. Three up. Eldrad. Uh, six up. Oh, Eldrad, Eldrad takes, takes a, a wound. wound. But now Eldrad gets to charge probably a three inch charge. Uh, I think it's more than that. We'll see. Uh, 10 inches sure does it, though. 10 inches sure does it. Eldrad is in. Eldrad's Char got two attacks with the Staff of Ulthamar. He'll Charges hit you on twos. First. Hit you two times. He'll two wound you on threes. And he, uh, I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. You sure are. Getting, the, getting my use out of the reroll strategy today. Still oh. does not do it, so that's one at minus two for D3. At minus two is going to be a five to save a Marine. It does not. D3 for three. D3 for three is going to be you, brother. Brother Hanson. Smack. And we're going to fight back the Marine. All right, we got the big deal rolls going on right now, because if we can kill Eldrad on his one wound, we can call this game ours. But first we need to hit Eldrad on threes. And I get to reroll one of these because I'm master crafted. We're going to get rid of these twos. It's hard to look through the phone. <laughs> and then we are going to wound you on fours. And we don't get to reroll any wounds. Look at those ones and twos. Two wounds, Eldrad. I got Three. one command point left. Fillies. I need a three up in bomb. And I make both. Oh. Eldrad survives. Puts Eldred the game survives. to turn three. Or to the bottom of turn two into the bottom of my turn yeah so there's no point of doing anything i'm gonna grab my command point i don't know if i'll need it Ooh, but there's no Bye. point or moving um i'm first gonna go into my shooting phase i got four pistol shots because space marines all have pistols and i get to reroll one of these i have hit eldrad four of the times i'm knocking trees around everywhere with my big gorilla mitts we're going to wound eldrad on fours We've wounded Eldrad all of the times. Come on, Eldrad, make four three-ups. Eldrad needs to make four three-up involunt saves, and he fails one, but I do have one command point remaining. Oh, you're going to fail it, though. And he makes Eldred his save. Eldrad continues to live, and now since it's my turn, Eldrad fights first. Eldrad is going to swing two times with the Staff of Ulthamar. He's going to hit, hit you two other times. times. He's going to wound you on threes. He's going to wound you two times. Oh, no, those and are five-ups, right? For D3 each. All right, I want fives here. Fives. I am fail both in D3 each. Oh, no, that's going to be you, brother. Oh, wait, you're a sergeant. It's going to be you. It's going to be you. And now we're going into Eldrad's. You get to swing back. Oh, I do get to swing back. But nobody charged. So I get three attacks here, swinging back at Eldrad. I want threes. Hit you all the times. I want fours. Two wounds, Eldrad. No more command points over there. Eldrad need well, Eldrad needs two three up invuln saves. Makes one, fails one. I need a six up, feel no pain. Does he live? He does not. Oh. Eldrad has perished. We are going to call that probably a minor space marine victory. I gotta check the scoring in the book. It has to do with power level. We'll talk about it. So the far senior and I just got done talking about it. And we scored up the game, and the game is if a third of your power level has escaped the table, the defender wins, and if it hasn't, the attacker wins. I have one task squad left on the table. I have another task squad dead and a captain dead. That means out of 16 power level, five made it off. That becomes a major victory for the white and tabled Eldar. Um, both of the characters in this game have died and will not level up. Right. As I mentioned um, in one of the clips at the top, this entire campaign that we are starting is completely plagiarized from the deploymentzone.tv. I took a bunch of their ideas, mashed them together, and rounded them out. In our campaign, we will slow grow. We will roll a dice. On a one, you get an HQ. On a two, it's a troops. Three elites, four fast attack, five heavy support. If you roll a six, you can get a flyer, a maximum troops choice rather than the minimal troops choice that we're requiring, or you can choose something. Another caveat that we've added to our campaign that was not part of the Deployment Zone campaign is that instead of rolling on the chart, you can, if you wish, choose a transport. Farseer, are you choosing a transport? I'm going to choose uh, to take a dedicated transport. Uh, the Farseer is going to take a Wave Serpent. And the Wave Serpents are serious. Now, I would love to just pick a Rhino because I could protect my men in the Rhino. But if I roll a 5 or a 6, there's a chance I could get a Land Raider. One black dice, give me a five or a six here. 
It's a four. A four is a fast attack choice. I think that's going to be the land speeder. So, our armies are, oh, we have to decide two. We have to find out about the scoring. We are playing to 21. I participate in the mission. I get one point. But the Farseer won the mission, and he gets D3 points. Can you roll a dice for me? That is a big three points. So playing to 21, as it stands now, Space Marines 1, Aldar 3, and we will see you in Episode 2.